In this video we will talk about the extensive range of Neapolitan cuisine, la cucina napoletana. We will learn how important Neapolitan cooking is, not only in Naples and Campania, but also around the world. We believe that if Italy was a baby, the Naples would be the mother that feeds her. The cooking of Campania is so important for its rich, historical, artistic and cultural traditions. La cucina napoletana was influenced by Arab, Norman, Spanish and French cultures, since they all ruled at Naples in some point in time, which has resulted in a unique, half-sophisticated, half-folk cuisine. Many Neapolitan recipes are elaborate, take time to prepare and use seasonal produce and only the best quality of fresh ingredients. It is considered to have many health benefits and is one of the best examples of the Mediterranean diets. Before we learn about the most popular dishes, which would be a grand list, let's first learn about the most used ingredients for most Neapolitan dishes. If you want to fast forward this video at any time, you can find in our description box the chapters of each Neapolitan dish. However, if you would like to carry on with the Neapolitan ingredients, let's get started. Pastas There is a great variety of Neapolitan pastas. The most popular variety of pasta, besides the classic spaghetti and linguine, are the paccheri and ziti, long pipe-shaped pasta broken by hand before cooking and usually topped with Neapolitan ragu. Pasta with vegetables is usually also prepared with pasta mista, in the Neapolitan language, pasta muscata, which are broken pieces of different kinds of pasta. Handmade gnocchi, prepared with flour and potatoes, have became a popular Neapolitan pasta. Some of the most modern varieties of pasta, shalatielli, are also becoming popular. Seafood Neapolitan cooking has always used an abundance of all kinds of seafood, from the Tyrrhenian Sea, from all different sizes and shapes. Recipes use either less expensive fishes. Some great examples include anchovies, mullet, calamari, scorfano, tracina, sea bass, sea bream, ciccinelli, Fravoglio, cod, stockfish, octopus, squid, shrimp, mussels, clams, and lupini. Tomatoes. Tomatoes are really important when it comes to Neapolitan cuisine and have been used for many centuries. There are traditionally several ways of preparing homemade tomato preserves, either bottled tomato juice or chopped into pieces. The industry of preserving tomatoes originated in 19th century Naples, resulting in the export to all parts of the world. Meat Meat is not used as frequently in Neapolitan cooking as in the cuisine of Northern Italy. The most common kinds of meat used in Neapolitan cooking are sausage, pork liver, tripe, bracciole, lamb, goat, rabbit, chicken and beef. Vegetables Campanian dishes often use many vegetables in its dishes due to the great agriculture in the Campania region. Some of the most typical products include aubergines, peppers, friarielli, broccoli, cabbage, beans, chickpeas, zucchini, lettuce, carrots, fennel, radishes, olives and peas, to name a few. Cheese Cheeses, both soft and aged, are an important part of the Neapolitan diet. The most common used cheeses include ricotta, mozzarella, cacciotta, fiore di latte, provola, scamorza, bocconcini, burrata and provolone. Now let's take a look at some famous Neapolitan dishes eaten locally and worldwide. Bread The most popular bread is pane cafone, prepared with natural yeast cooked in a wood fire oven with hard crust and large holes inside. Also used are sfilatini, which is somewhat similar to a French baguette, but shorter and thicker. Rosetta rolls and other varieties are also present. Pasta dishes From the classic Pumarole to the simplest aglio e uoio, down to a wide variety of sauces with vegetables or seafood, up to the ragu. Southern Italy's creativity enhances its pasta dishes. Dishes Pasta e fagioli Pasta e ceci Pasta e lenticchie Pasta e piselli Pasta e petate Pasta e cavolfiore Pasta e zucca Spaghetti alla puttanesca 
Neapolitan ragu. Vaguely inspired by the ragu emiliano, prepared with minced carrot, celery, onion, ground beef and tomato. The most traditionally used pasta with the Neapolitan ragu is the ziti, which are long broken macaroni. It can also be put together with fiore di latte to create dishes like gnocchi alla sorrentina, which is then cooked in an oven in a small portion clay pot called a pignatiello. The Genovese sauce, not inspired by Genoa, but by a Neapolitan man, is a sauce prepared with meat browned with abundance of onions and other aromatics, with any kind of large cylindrical pasta like rigatoni or candele. The frittata di spaghetti can be prepared with pasta leftovers, either with tomato sauce or white. Pasta, cooked al dente, is mixed with raw scrambled egg and cheese, then pan-fried. It can be enriched with many different ingredients. It must be cooked on both sides, flipped with the help of a plate. If well cooked, it is compact and can be cut into slices. It can be eaten during outdoor lunches. Spaghetti, linguine and paccheri match very well with fish and seafood. The most common examples are spaghetti alle vongole or other shellfishes such as clams and mussels. Paccheri con la zuppa di pesce like scorfani, cuocci and tracine. Pasta con i calimari with squid sauce is cooked with a white wine. Rice dishes the most famous rice dish is the sarto di riso, a sort of timballo made with rice, stuffed with chicken livers, sausage, little meatballs, fior di latte or provola, peas, mushrooms and with the Neapolitan ragu, or in the white version, in bianco, with bachamel sauce. A seafood rice dish is the risotto alla pescatora, fisherman's risotto, prepared with various mollusks, Different types of clams, squid and cuttlefish, shrimps and a broth made from the boiling of seafood shells. Pizza Pizza is the most popular and best known creation of all Neapolitan cuisine. The pizzaiolo, Raffaele Esposito, created it in 1889 in honour to Queen Margherita of Savoy, a nationalistic pizza where the colours of the national Italian flag were represented by the green, the basil, the white, mozzarella, the red, the tomato. Since then, this pizza is called the Pizza Margherita. The real Neapolitan pizza must be cooked in a wood-fired oven handmade by an able pizzaiolo, where he makes the dough disc thinner in the centre and thicker in the outer part, and the ingredients and olive oil are rapidly spread on the disc, and with a quick movement of the pizza, it is put on a shovel and into the oven, where it is then cooked for uniform cooking. Fish and seafood dishes one of the most famous main courses is polpi alla luciana. This is octopus cooked with chili pepper and tomato. Octopus is also simply steamed and prepared as salad with lemon juice, parsley and green olives. The best Neapolitan seafood dishes include alici dorate e fritte, which is boneless anchovies, passed in flour, egg and deep fried. Alici marinate, which contains raw anchovies marinated in lemon juice or vinegar then dressed with olive oil, garlic and parsley. Alici areganante, which has boneless anchovies, rapidly cooked in a large pan with olive oil, lemon juice and oregano. Mussels are prepared in different ways, rapidly steamed with black pepper, alimpepata, and dressed with a few drops of lemon juice each, and also cooked al gratin. Clams and other shellfishes are also cooked sauté, rapidly passed in a large pan with olive oil, garlic and served on crust breads. Ciccinelli, the tiny baby fishes, are either steamed and dressed with oil and lemon or deep fried with a light dough, which is also used to deep fry little pieces of some sea algae. Vegetable dishes Vegetable dishes can become very rich and elaborated. The most famous examples include the Parmigiana di Melanzane, aubergine pie with tomato sauce and fiore di latte. The gatto di patate. It's a potato pie stuffed with cheese and salami. The peperoni ripieni. Stuffed whole peppers. Fried food. Many vegetables are deep fried with flour and egg, dorate e fritte. Artichoke, zucchini, cauliflower. 
mozzarella can be prepared dorata e fritta, as well as also in carrozza, passed in flour and egg together, with two bread slices softened with milk to form a small sandwich. Typical Neapolitan fried food are also the croquet, which are stuffed potato balls passed in breadcrumbs and deep fried. Also are the shorilli, zucchinis male flowers, fried in a dough that can also be bought on the streets of Naples historical center in typical fried food shops called frigatoria, together with shayotsi, fried slices of polenta, pasta cresciuta, fried bread dough balls, and aubergine slices. Onions, fried up to a golden color, are the base of the famous frittata di cipolle, onion omelette. Side dishes. After pasta, the main second course meals are frequently accompanied by side dishes. The most popular ones are zucchini alla scapece, deep fried sliced zucchini, dressed with vinegar and fresh mint. Melanzane a funghetti. Fried aubergines in two versions, stick shaped and fried, then dressed with cherry tomato sauce or diced fried with no tomato. Friarielli, local vegetable leaves, pan fried with oil, garlic, and chili pepper. They are often side dishes of fried sausages and cervellatine, which are sometimes also accompanied by potato fries, typically cut into small dices. Savory pies. Savory pies are convenient for outdoor food. One of the most popular savory pies are the castagliello or tortano, typical of Easter holidays, usually prepared for the day after Easter, usually spent outdoors. Cakes and desserts. Neapolitan cuisine has a large variety of cakes and desserts. The most famous ones include baba, svogliatella, in two varieties, frolla, smooth, or riccia, curly. Two variants are the Santa Rosa, larger and with an additional stuffing of cream and a black cherry, and the Corda d'Aragosta, which is lobster tail, with a beignet inside and stuffed with various types of cream. Zeppole, deep fried or baked pastiera, prepared for the Easter holidays. Struffoli, which are deep fried balls of sweet dough, sometimes with honey and hundreds and thousands on top. Delizia al limone. It's a sponge based cake soaked with a syrup based on limoncello, stuffed and covered with lemon based cream. Ice creams are famous as well. The most traditional are the caviglie and the spumoni. Fruit. Fruit is also present at the end of a meal. Local production is abundant. One of the most popular local products is the Anorca apple, a local type of apple whose origins are also old. It is believed to have first been planted by the Romans. Slices of watermelon Omelone. were, in old times, sold in little street shops named Mellunari. Nowadays they have disappeared. The sweet and tasty yellow peach in Napoletano is also sometimes used, chopped in pieces to add flavor to red wine coming from Monte di Procida. It's cold and somewhat similar to Spanish sangria. Wine. Many wines from Campania match very well to the local cuisine. Amongst white wines, the most famous are Greco di Tuffo, Falangina, Fiano di Avellino, Asprigno di Aversa, while the most famous red wines are Aglianico, Taurasi, Campi Flegrei Piedi Rosso, also known as Peripalum, Solopacca, Lacrima Cristi from Vesuvius, that is produced both white and red. Liqueurs. The most abundant lunches or dinners end with coffee and liqueur. Limoncello is known world famous, but once upon a time the most preferred one, liquori ai quattro frutti, with lemon, orange, tangerine, e limo, not to be confused with lime, which is a local variation of bergamot orange, now very rare. 
Nocillo is also very popular all over Italy and is the most appreciated bitter liqueur. Neapolitan street food Typical fried food can still today be bought in little shops like pasta cresciuta, scagliozzi or chorilli. Pizza is also prepared in small sizes to be eaten in the street, the so-called pizza a libretto. There are still some carnacutari shops selling various types of tripe Operiumus. pork's foot and cow's nose or the old zuppa e carna cotta which is tripe soup. And we've reached the end of the video. We hope that you enjoyed watching the Neapolitan cuisine. There's so much more that we could include, so you can comment with your favorite dishes in the comment section. Comment on our video with your thoughts and opinions and questions. If you like this video, please don't forget to give us a like and click subscribe to keep up to date with new Neapolitan culture and language videos. If you would like to support our channel, you can find the link to our Patreon page in the description of this video, where you will find more Neapolitan content on language and culture. Thanks for watching. See you soon.